Hello friends. So in this video, we are going to learn how to put this and this together and make a sound. We're not talking about the left hand yet. Um, I've made some little videos before talking about the bow hand, talking about your setup. Um, and let's go ahead and just put them together. So find your bow hand. Remember that handbag arm? Got your thumb and everything's relaxed. You want your instrument in front of you, right? Head drop down. And when you put your bow on the string, you can actually practice lowering it from above like it's a crane. And um, I'm on my viola today. It really doesn't matter whether it's the violin or the viola, but let's practice um, given the fact that you have your position, right? Arms in front of you. Let's practice just finding the bow on any string. So let's kind of put the, the wrist, you can kind of think of your wrist right to the side of your nose there, right? And then using your shoulder there to drop the bow at the correct angle. Um, in the video on the bow hand, we talked about if this was the string here, when you're dropping the bow, you wanna drop it at the correct angle. So you don't wanna kind of come at the string at one angle and then micro adjust. You wanna make sure that the whole lever comes at the proper angle. And that has to do with this rotation over here, okay? So anyway, you might need to review those videos a little bit, but let's put them together, right? So let's just lift up and down a few times. And when you put the bow on the string, try to relax, right? The, Violin or viola is now supporting your arm weight there. So you should kind of see the string sag a little bit under the bow, okay? Um, also probably need to talk about tightening the bow, sorry. Um, when you tighten the bow, you don't wanna over tighten it. For example, this is starting to get a little too tight. This part here is losing its little, whatever that is, dip here. So, um, a bow is kind of like a person. It doesn't like to have too much pressure. You can see that it's kind of concave here, whereas before it was losing that. Now it's straight. You see that right here? So there we go. Something like that probably. See how it's got a little dip there? And when you put it on the string, there's some distance. It's not doing this. Okay, all right, so let's try a different string. Rotate over from your arm. Remember your shoulder here is doing that. Let's go over to the next string, up and down. Make sure that your scroll and your nose stay at that same level. All right, we don't want this happening. So keep them on the same level. And let's try a different string. Watch my shoulder over here. It rotates over. I'm not even thinking about my bow hand or anything else. Right, let me keep the scroll up, sorry. And let's go all the way over to the top string. So shoulder guides you, clock, right, out to the side. Okay, so if you can do that, I would recommend doing that in front of a mirror. The next step is to do little baby steps, right? Before you use the whole bow, let's see if you can maintain good form and come back to where you started. Um, by doing little baby steps. So for example, and I'm gonna also try and keep the bow parallel and on one point. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this to you very well, but for example. You see how my arm, my hand and my arm come back to that same position I started in? sections. Let's do three. Make sure you come back to where you started. Do that a few times and then maybe two sections, half of the bow. And don't forget to breathe. You notice how I'm breathing in? one bow. Granted, I'm going through this really fast, but I would spend more time on each of those sections. You can even use a metronome to help you with your pacing. So, just kind of a 
basic sound. Okay, and did you notice how I kept kind of falling and then kind of moving up? <laughs> so it's probably because I'm sitting on a couch um, and it's just easy to do that. But anyway, when you're putting these together, practice in front of a mirror and go very slowly because your body's trying to understand how to do this thing, right? We're trying to play with, um, with ease and play in a comfortable way. And um, when you put the bow on the string, just make sure that you really do. I would definitely practice breathing out. And then playing. It really does help release some of that weight. Often when we put the bow on the string, we think we have to control it, but actually the instrument's there to support the weight. And don't be afraid <clears throat> to apply, you know, some arm weight to the string. It can take that as long as you're closer to the um, bridge. You don't want to be on the bridge. But let's say I was down here and I applied that weight. It's not going to take it. You hear that? So if I just do that in the middle here, it's going to get rid of that. And <clears throat> skeet, skeet. <laughs> if I wanted to play really close to the bridge, I would need an awful lot of weight for that. So, does that make sense? So you can kind of get to know the various contact points on your instrument and um, practice playing with releasing the weight onto the string. Do little baby steps and make sure that your form stays nice and comfortable. Watch how you're playing in front of the mirror. Okay, so I hope that helps. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.